What's up guys, today we're playing some black white scam in modern. So for this version, I took out Stoneforge Mystic and I added a few haymakers and a little bit more disruption. So our land base is still the same, 20 lands. In practice, 20 lands have felt pretty light, but with your curve being four at the most, typically you're trying to ephemerate or undead solitude and grief. So you're never really casting them unless you flat out and it's kind of like a last resort. Adding Shieldred has increased the curve and it's very noticeable when you're missing land drops. We still have our flicker package of ephemerate and not dead after all. So if you're not familiar with the deck, what you're trying to do is is pitch either grief or solitude and then ephemerate it so that way it comes back and it gets to stay on the battlefield. Another way to do that is to cast not dead after all. So this is similar to Rakdos scam except it is black white. So you kind of lose some things but you also gain ephemerate which is pretty awesome because it has rebound. So you get to grief three times or solitude three times instead of twice. We are running three mana ties. So this is like a cheeky counter spell in white. I could take it or leave it. When it's great it's like pretty amazing, but when it's not, it's very, very bad, which is pretty much like this deck. This deck is either like running on all cylinders with you evoke, you steal all their stuff, and then you just kill them. Other times you evoke, they kill your stuff and you do absolutely nothing. So that's pretty much mana tithe in a nutshell. For this version, we've added three fatal push for early disruption in terms of removal. So Ragavan, any small creatures. We have our four thought seas for hand disruption. I've also added three reprieves. So this version is more of like a tempo-y version. So we have three reprieves, the new remand and white. It's been okay. I fa it's like, again, it's kind of hit or miss depending on what's going on. But when it's good, it's amazing. You can tempo it out. It's, it gives you like that last turn you need just to swing in for lethal. We have our four Bowmasters and four Dothies. These are staples in this deck. And then we have two Persists, which are new additions as well. So these can get back griefs and solitudes that have already been killed. Maybe you've used Not Dead and Ephemerate and then they kill it in response. You can persist it and still get those effects. Of note, you typically don't want to persist Bowmasters because it dies as soon as it enters the battlefield. But if you need that like extra ping, the last addition we have are two children in the main. Usually we have a few on the side, but I wanted to add a couple in the main just because they're just like haymakers against a lot of decks. And when you land them, they can kind of win the game on their own. Obviously, we have our scam package of Solitudes and Grief. For the sideboard, we're really siding heavily against Cascade decks and Graveyard decks. So we have Dranus Magistrate, which turns off Cascade. We have Temporary Lockdown, which shuts off any like small creature decks. So Harden's Gals has been pretty popular. So that's comes in against them or just any small creature decks. If we ever we have an extra shield just in case we need to bring in our third. Four Leyland of Void for Graveyard decks, Chalice against Cascade, EE against small artifacts and Rhinos. And then we have Damping Sphere against Tron, Amulet, Combo decks. So because this deck is very polarizing, we're hoping to disrupt them enough to where they don't draw very well. They're on top deck mode and we just kind of slowly beat them down. The downside to that is we can't thought seize the top of their deck. So if they draw one of their wing cons or they just kill one of our creatures, we have zero pressure and we just straight up lose. Same for the sideboard. Our sideboard is very polarizing. If we play against decks that we can't bring anything in, we just kind of have to get lucky with our main deck and hope we get that. So that is Orzhov Scam in Modern. Hope you're enjoying the content. If you are, hit that subscribe button and let's get in the gameplay. All right, welcome to match one. We're on the play. This is a one lander. If we had a undying effect, then I would definitely keep it, but we're gonna mull this one. This one's also not very good. Double reprieve and a grief with four lands. We could put back a land, like tempo. I think there's like better fives here because we need to be like kind of aggro with this deck. All right, this is fine. Not great, but we'll keep this. We're gonna put back definitely ephemerate. Put back ephemerate and a land, I'd say. I wanna put back the land. I'd rather have like more spells. We don't r need like a lot of lands in this deck. So I think I'm valuing like spells over lands so far. That's what I've been valuing. So yeah, see, like we drew another land. Turn one thought sees. Pretty easy. Turn two Dorothy. Hold up reprieve, maybe. We'll see. Oh, okay. So we're definitely gonna get rid of collective brutality. That puts attracts in the yard and it looks at our hand next turn and we it'll get rid of reprieve. It could also kill Dorothy. Leyland binding is like a one for one, but it's not that big of a deal. So we'll get rid of that and we'll pass. What would be awesome is if we're able to get Dorothy out and then um, Dothy's, but Dothy's really good against Reanimator here. Like, yeah, Leyland Binding takes care of it, but maybe we'll draw something before then. So this is just like Esper Reanimator. Sync's mulling to five against them just because they're like a combo deck and we can kind of hose them if we have enough cards, but our sideboard is pretty covered against them with the ley lines. So they played Delta here. So they Drew Delta for turn one, two, three. Not dead after all. So sadly, this doesn't prevent Leyland Binding again. So we will. I mean, we could we could play Dothy. I don't think we play Dothy out yet. Play Marsh Flats. We'll hold up Reprieve because if we play Dothy, they can just like end of turn Leyland Binding and get their mana, get their uh, like mana worth. This will probably go get 
I don't know if they run two triumphs here. I think they do. They'll get their second triumph here. Yeah, they got Indalta. Okay. Yeah, typically with Leyland Binding decks, they're going to be running two triumphs. They play the Marsh Flats. They have two unknowns in hand. Or maybe... Th now they have two. But they're just happy to just do nothing. They have... They're sitting on protection. We'll play this out. I guess we'll pass one more time. Hold up Reprieve. Next turn, we'll play Dalthy. They don't do anything. I wanted to play before a Silent Clearing just because I'm going to probably want four mana to play Dalthy and Hold up Reprieve next turn. All right, they play Watergrave tapped. Fortunately, no end of turn plays because they do have a lot of instant speed uh, to still do nothing. I guess they don't really mind either. <sighs> Shieldred. All right. Well, we're going to make them use whatever they have on Dalthy, which is fine. Shield was not that good here either, because they can just binding this. And we're not going to reprieve it just because it's not going to do anything. They can just recast it. The Leyland Binding, sure. I kind of want them to play a Teferi. They can play Teferi, we can reprieve it, and then just kind of time walk them. You know they have like an Atraxa and maybe a land in play. All right, we're going to pass back. Uh, Thoughtseize is a good one, actually. We can Thoughtseize, hold up reprieve, because we know they have like more stuff. So I guess they're going to loot here, maybe? Shadow Prophecy. Okay. So they're going to put some stuff in their hand here. And then we're just going to take it away. It's not worth it to reprieve that. It's interesting they're not cracking their fetches either. All right, they put Footsteps and Goryos in there. Another Goryos, another Leyline Binding. Kind of annoying. And another Shadow Prophecy. So they put Atraxa in the yard. They have a Goryos. We're going to have to discard the Vengeance. It's actually not able to do anything right now. Typically, we just kind of strip their hand and then they have nothing. Because we mulled to five and uh, we have no pressure. All right, so now they're fetching. Sending out their deck. They do have like a Shadow Prophecy. So they can still... They go main deck Shadow. I probably reprieve that. But then they can just recast it. It's play a tap. So I'm going to crack another dead draw here. Another silent clearing. <sighs> All right, let's crack that. Ephemerate, no. Ephemerate would be good against if we could get like a Dalthy out. So now they're going to end of turn Shadow Prophecy here. One, two, three. We're going to reprieve that because they can't recast it. It's like the most expensive thing they have. Three mana, so. So this is obviously one kind of downside with this deck is it just has a lot of like air. Like, all this is just junk when we don't have any uh, payoffs. They have a lot of payoffs. Two Gorios in the graveyard right now. But they do nothing. Okay, yeah, we're just... I mean, there's no point in playing Shieldred when they're just going to Leyline Binding it. But we're not doing anything anyway. Uh, we can't even actually cast that because we pitch all our lands. This is just uh, unlucky here. All right, so they're going to Shadow Prophecy again. Probably get a payoff here. They put a Traxa and the God of the Shrine. So we know they have Leyline Binding and five others, and they're about to draw. They're going to have seven cards in hand. There's like no way we're winning this. This Faithful Mending, yeah. We're going to draw two, discard two. They put Gristlebrand and third Traxa into the yard. They finally find it. They Goryeo. We're just, we have Ley Lines. That's pretty much it. We just have our Ley Lines here. And then what's not good? Fatal Push is not good. Like we didn't draw Solitudes. We didn't draw like any thing good and then i mean bow masters is pretty decent children's medium like it's just kind of big i think this is fine so in ley lines out fatal push and children but they do run to fairy they do run ley line binding to get rid of ley line of the void so it's not like the end all be all maybe we'll get like two ley lines or something all right on the play all right another mulligan pretty easy it's five five lands and just Nothing. Uh, so we don't, this hand doesn't have ley line. It has, it has a solitude ephemerate, but like nothing going on. Like turn one thought sees, turn two. I think we can, we're going to go to five again. Turn two, Dalthy persist. Like we could keep this because it has Dalthy, but they do run solitude and ley line. Persist doesn't do anything. Solitudes, meh. We'll go one more. All right. Well, we don't, we never found ley line, which sucks. Thought sees, Dalthy, put three back. I'm just going to put those three back and and hope. So we're gonna go like Dalthy. We just like really needed a uh, a ley line in the void. This hand's not working out right now. So we'll play Dalthy. We'll play out like a couple turns, but most likely not happening. But this just kind of showcases the downside of this deck where like you can have the nuts draws with just grief, ephemera, grief, undying, or you can draw like this where you just mull to just terrible hands. So they get the Rogger and Trium. They can have Leyline of the Void or um, Leyline Binding active ephemera. Okay. So we have protection, if nothing else. So if they're going to do it, they're going to crack this, get a Trium, and then binding that, but I guess not. What it looks like they're doing. All right. So ETB. See, if they didn't have Leyline of Sanctity, this would be like fantastic grief, ephemera, and all that stuff. They don't have force, right? We never bring in force against my deck. Oh no, they have solitude. And oh my God. <laughs> two lands they kept concealed courtyard go so i mean i i guess we're just gonna play out grief right, they drew the third land here probably shadow prophecy untapped another I'm just play out grief for fun end of turn shadow prophecy yep so right now we're just looking to i guess hard cast kind of overwhelm the board i mean i would take a ley line of the void 
to hard cast, to be honest. They don't have anything like special in the yard, which is nice. So they didn't discard anything with Shadow Prophecy, but they might have drawn like a discard and yeah, they play land and pass. I mean, another Dolphy. So we'll see if they waste anything on grief here, but this is what we need. We just need to draw all our creatures just to kind of, and hopefully they don't like do anything. All right. So this is good. They're using their solitude on grief and they're probably going to evoke it. I mean, um, ephemerate it. An embarrassment of riches. What'd they pitch? Oh, the other ley line of sanctity. Okay. I guess they do run like a set. So they, they saw theirs and we didn't see ours. No, what is this? Or they're just going to put something in the yard before they're going to shadow prophecy before. Sure. I guess we'll crack this land too. They put two lands, faithful in the yard. Uh, what do they have? They've already used two solitudes and they're fetching just to uh, get it underneath. We'll crack this now. Like if we can get a land, if we can get, yeah, Leyland Binding. Nothing sticking around. All right, so draw a card right on time. Man, if we could manatize the Leyland Binding, that would have been sick. Another Faithful Mending. It thinks about these games too. Like if opponents done like five minutes already for no apparent reason. So it's just like when the games drag on like this, I know you guys don't have to see it because the video goes pretty smoothly, but sitting through this is like painful. So they discard Gorios Flooded Strand. So they, we know they have another Gorios in hand. They haven't found a payoff yet. Let me draw Persist. Persist does nothing because everything has been, everything has been exiled. Maybe, I mean, if we needed to board something else out, we'd also board out Persist, but we have nothing to board in for that. I wonder if we should have more graveyard stuff. I don't know. I think four, four Leyland of the Void should be enough. Another Faithful Mending. Maybe like they get greedy and tap out for Mana Tithe. I doubt it though. They have so much mana. Another Faithful Mending and a Footsteps in the Yard. And then they pass and we draw a Shieldred, which we can't do anything with. If they shock that in for another uh, Shadow Prophecy. Oh, they do. If they go Shadow Prophecy. I'm going to Mana Tithe that. They're not going to. Oh, three mana. Oh, just Flashback. I'll Mana Tithe that. This isn't getting any better. We'll see. Maybe we'll take like one more draw or something. They have three Faithful Mendings in the Yard. They discard Collective Brutality and Leyline Binding. That's insane. So you know their hand's like insane if they're doing that. Tainted Indulgence. Uh, Bowmasters would have been great a while ago. Yeah, Bowmasters is good into mending all that stuff. We could play it now. It's fine. We'll play this even though they probably have a ley line binding because they already discarded one. End of turn. That's just hard cast solid. Yeah, they're playing way too slow and there's like no way we're coming back from that. All right, match two. We're on the play. Let's hope for some better hands here. This is fine. We don't have the uh, scam, but we have turn one thought seize and or we have two thought seizes reprieve. This is, this is okay. We don't have the scam, but it's good enough. We'll go concealed courtyard. Oof. Burn. All right, so we're gonna have to take Goblin Guide. They're gonna suspend. These thought seizes are actually pretty uh, not good <laughs> against Burn. But at least we got rid of their turn one play, turn one creature play. And they're on all Fiery Islet here. And they drew, they drew Swift Spear. So if we had Solitudes, we'd let them keep their creatures and just Solitude everything. So now we can actually, we will pitch Grief and we can persist Grief and take all their stuff. So we'll take the Light of the Stage. Is there anything else we want to take? Like Rift Bolt or Shard Volley? I don't know how much we care about that. I mean, I guess we'll, we have to shock this in. So we can flash in Bowmasters. I mean, they can, we're probably just, we're just going to flash this in and like, it sucks is we don't know like what, what they drew. So if they have like an instant speed thing, they could like blow us out. If we try to like triple block this, I don't think it's worth it. I guess we have to try. They're at 19, pinging it once, pinging them once isn't going to do anything it's like if they drew an instant speed burn spell like we could make them use shard volley uh they drew skull crack okay i mean now's not the best time for them to use it i mean i guess we'll just so they can let's i guess we'll just double block so they will let's just persist grief it's a clock and it strips them from like doing stuff we're probably gonna take shard volley because they have uh, they drew a mountain for turn they're gonna suspend hopefully good they suspended it so now we get to reprieve that next turn because they're probably gonna crack this maybe Oh, double reprieve. Okay. So we'll attack, hold up reprieves, which is like super weird against burn, but like reprieves are probably the, one of the first things that come out. And I like that they're cracking this. I mean, we knew they would, but it slows down their, uh, sus like, so let's see what they target to. I mean, we're going to still reprieve this no matter what, but they target us. This is like the worst feeling ever is returning a, uh, Oh, Shieldred. We have no mana. They're just going to hard cast. Oh, just light up. Just hard cast light up the stage. Lava spike, lava spike. Ugh, those are good hits there. All right, there's a swamp. I think we have to play out. We have to play out Dothy because they're just going to go lava spike, lava spike, suspend Rift Bolt. Man, if we can get a Shieldred out, that'll just like win the game. What sucks too is we have nothing against burn. Like I didn't build my sideboard to face burn at all, but maybe we should have. Lava spike, lava spike, triple lava spike. Ugh. All right, so they have Rift Bolt in hand. So we are dead. Yeah, we're dead. We needed to draw a land for Shieldred here. And there's nothing we can do with like burn spells because we're already hitting them for three. Ah, oh, that sucks. So we'll see. I mean, we'll see what we, we'll reprieve it and see what we draw. But it's, there's nothing because they can just hard cast it. The fact that we drew double reprieve in like a matchup 
where we would typically board that out. We don't even have the white card to... All right, this matchup is is not going to be good. So we can bring in Shieldred. We can take out Reeves better than Thoughtseize. Not really, right? Yeah, there's really, really nothing we can do. Like, we either need, like, Solitude to get in or just strip their hand and get, I don't know, played around everything we had. Uh, let's see. We do have Shieldred. We have push. It's fine. We could mullet. We, again, we don't even really have anything for this matchup. The best thing we have is Shieldred. So maybe we just like turn one push their Goblin Guide, hopefully. Draws us a land. Two Reprieve, Bowmasters. Like, I think this is a fine curve. We want this to be... Uh, okay, well, we get to Reprieve that, so that's fine. Solitude, not bad. Solitude can gain us some life. And this just kind of like tempos them out here. So Reprieve. Rift Bolt. And we draw a Dolphy. I wouldn't be making my land drop, so these aren't Eidolon, sure. Another Solitude. So we could Solitude, Ephemerate Solitude is a thing. It's so Walker because if they, they can just like easily kill it, other white cards or something else. I guess we'll pass and see. But yeah, Burn's definitely not, not a great matchup for us with no uh, sideboard plan. We might just take two and see what they do. If they play like another creature out maybe, that would be ideal. They suspend Rift Bolt. No instant speed. Right. I'm going to take two and maybe they play out another Eidolon. I guess we just push this and just pass. What lands? All right, that's good. Painless land there but we can can dorothy i don't think is that worth it i mean they could kill it they could gall crack us i think i i bow masters they didn't do anything with this mountain or the double mountain that's strange we take three from rift bolt sure another mountain lava spike sure goblin guide did they like just draw that that's so weird let's see what it hits there's no way to draw that immediately but yeah, bow masters here we'll ping it and then eat it with the uh token here Deering blaze i'm gonna do this because i want i'm gonna exile solitude i'm gonna gain one life here because they tapped out we're gonna get a uh eat the one that they're targeting so we'll gain one life i mean i guess we'll just kill the goblin guide we can save this to just as another chump blocker. Holy crap, and they conceded? That's wild. They were like totally in it, unless their hand was complete garbage. All right, let's run it back. All right, reprieve. Seemed like an early concession to me. I mean, double solitude, keep? I don't know. We have the double solitude and ephemerate. I think the only way we're winning is if we get in hits with solitude. All right, this is spend a rift bolt, sure. Oh, and a not dead. I'm actually, let's, yeah, let's grief pitch not dead and have ephemerate out. So we're gonna go to 17. I think we have to go to 17 here. So we're gonna do that. We could get a planes. I don't know if that's maybe better to save life. This one can always get a planes because we're going to have to do that anyway. Jeez. All right. Let's see. So we can take Lava Spike. Just take all their stuff, I guess. And there's nothing that can kill. I mean, so Rift Bolt can kill this, but I'd much rather. I mean, sure. If Rift Bolt kills it, that's three damage. Sure. Or we gain three life. So this is like a pits three, gain three. Maybe they don't target it. I can't see them not doing it. <gasps> they didn't target it. Okay. So I guess they're not afraid of losing stuff, I guess. I don't know. I mean, we're definitely going to ephemerate grief again, unless they drew like a bolt for it. And they concede. Wow. I don't know, guys. We'll take it. Against Burn, we'll take those. We're on the play, I think. I think this is fine. We have turn one thought sees, persist. Like, if they're a graveyard deck, card draw deck, or a saga. So this could be Titan. That's kind of uh, cutesy here, depending on what they have. Oh, okay. So we're going to take Dryad here. They have two Grazers. Kind of like nothing. So this is going to get an amulet, but they their hand is pretty terrible. They need a payoff. They drew an amulet for turn. Play your stronghold down. So they're still looking for payoffs. Not dead after all. They're... This is like the one rare thing where like their hand sucks. So uh, it's kind of funny. Let's, so we could play Dothy, but if they draw a payoff, we just lose. I mean, I guess we don't just lose because we have Solitude. So let's, let's play Dothy. So they float a mana, probably go get another amulet here. They, I don't know. I was going to say they could get a map. I don't know if they, like, when you would ever get a map here, but I guess not. So they have two lands, two grazers, and an unknown. All right, they drew a map for turn. They're probably going to go crack map now. Maybe get another saga. They play Gruel Turf, put that back in their hand. All right, Slayer Strong, go back in Solitude. No lands, but it's not the worst. They'll get him with Dothy, and I guess we're just going to hold up Bowmasters. Solitude Ephemery if we need it. They we're just going to slowly eat away at them. We'll see if they go get, like, Saga with this map. I'm assuming they do. Or they might get T-West. They do get Teleri West. So it sucks as Mana Tide is probably not going to get them unless they are really greedy. But they just have so much mana, it, like, doesn't matter. Sunken Citadel for blue to get Teleri, to do Teleri West stuff. Grazer, yeah, they just have so much mana. We do have Solitude, not dead. We'll see if it's enough. They're gonna pack. One, two, three, four, five. Did they T-West already? Uh, now they're gonna transmute, sure. Go get prime time. Or we'll go get summoners packed. Chaos summoners packed. Okay. You can make more mana, sure. I know. I wish they would like greet out for mana tithe. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you guys watch all this, so we'll see. We'll come back after they're done tapping. Well, they play another summoner's pack. Or is that the first one? Oh, that's the first one. Okay. So they get prime time, sure. They're gonna go get all their lands. It sucks that their hand was so bad that we couldn't, like, grief them out of nothing. All right, then they get another T-West. I think, well, we'll see how many, uh... I guess they can just get a bunch of Titans here. Maybe they'll greet out on, like, summoner's packs. That's, that's probably the only way we win is if they, like, 
They're gonna take pick up T West. Let's see. If they summoners packed, get a Titan. They're never tapping low enough for mana tithe, I guess. So we're gonna have to solitude and not dead it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they might actually Oh, can you imagine if they do this? If they tap this two, three, four, five, six. They tap this and just oh dude. Come on, pack. They're gonna pack for another Titan. Exact cast Titan for exactly six. Oh no. Oh no, they played it safe. Oh, that's so lame. Why'd they play it so safe? Man, they played around everything here. That's so sad. <laughs> I was ready for it. Oh man. Oh, that stinks. I was so excited for you guys. All right, so let's get him with Void Walker, sure. Then I guess pass. So they have to pay, pay for Pact here, so they can't... Well, I mean, they're going to have a million mana, so it doesn't matter. Maybe they go for it here. I mean, they can just attack and get everything. All right, all right. I guess we keep the other Solitude for another white card, because I don't I don't think we're ever getting them with Mana Tithe. If we do, what are the chances we get them with Mana Tithe? One, two, three... F nah, we're never getting... Like, they could, I guess, cast another Titan this turn, play lands, cast Titan. One, two, three... Oh, no, because they, they played land for turn already they played slay stronghold for term yeah they're, we're, we're not getting them with uh i mean they're gonna gain six here but they played their land for turn so they can't silent clearing all right we'll play that out we would love to draw another white card all right we'll get in with everything all right they go to 11 we'll sack this nice a white card okay so they do have the pack they're gonna pack here one two three yeah there's no way we're getting them with mana tithe four five six seven uh cultivator colossus four five six seven yeah we're gonna solitude it before when it comes in so that way they don't gain enough life because they could it could gain like so much life one two three it's only gonna be a four four feels so bad especially because we can't persist yep 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 gain four and then we just and then it still goes off so they're still gonna get to put in hopefully not that many lands no they're drawing all lands oh bow masters forgot about bow masters it's actually pretty funny one two three four five six seven eight nine i mean we'll wait for this trigger to go you guys again we'll come back all right so we're gonna ping them ping them ping them i mean, actually ping grazer is it worth it to ping grazer yeah because uh grazer can always block the four three which would be like way less damage. Oh no, they're gonna, I think we're still dead. All right, we'll make them, they have a million untaps, so we'll see. Oh no, sadly our army's tapped, but it's huge. Yeah, okay, they're just gonna make a bunch of mana and attack with a hasty titan. I don't think they can make it a, oh man, I think they can give this, can they make this like a 10, 10 double striker, I think? Again, we'll check back in in a bit. All right, ping them for one, they explored. So they copied Slayer Stronghold, so they're just gonna, oh no. So they can play Titan and ping us for a million with Valica and also give this plus two or where is it? Plus two and plus two for a hasty Titan. All right. And we will concede to this. Yeah, we just didn't apply enough pressure. All right. So against Amulet Titan, we have Damping Spheres. We have Chalice on zero is pretty cute. EE on one as well. Fatal Push can be decent against Reprieve's great. Fatal Push can be decent against uh, Dryad. But like Bowmasters, they don't really draw. Like they draw with Cultivator, but that's if they're doing that, they probably win anyway. So Cultivator out. Mantide can be cute. Children's man. Persist hasn't been very good. I think Persist is more of like a grindy strategy. All right, we'll be on the play. Maybe we can. So we have EE on one. We do have Reprieve. We have Solitude. I guess we'll keep. It's not like a scam hand. We don't have Damping Sphere either. So maybe we can take one Mulligan. But it's like fine. Do we just EE on one immediately? Yeah, I guess. Why not? Like they have to do stuff. Also, they might not have kept a great hand because usually against these decks you don't always keep like the most optimal hand you just keep a hand that a decent amount of everything dothy void walker all right so we'll i mean i guess we're gonna scam actually we'll scam pitching dothy yeah see so like these kinds of hands explore so like this is a horrible keep but against our deck if they mulligan then they're just screwed so their hand is all lands they're gonna get a saga going and i guess we'll ephemerate again just to see if they drew anything worth stealing maybe they drew another like that so they're in top deck mode. We have Reprieve, if nothing else. We have EE for their amulets. So I'll crack this, get another God the Shrine here. Because they do have Ottawara, but I can't imagine them... I mean, they can't use it really anyway right now. I guess they can make uh, Constructs. Another Grief, not what we need. And I guess we're behind on Clock a little bit, but I mean, behind on uh, Life. So, I mean, they could just make another Saga token here. And then uh, EE looks like a joke. That's the only downside to running it out on one is if they have the Saga in hand. Now we're just going to get beat down. If we do draw... Like, not dead or ephemerate, we can clean these up as well. They play the Ottawara. They have two bounce lands in hand. They can always bounce that back, so. All right, we'll take three. Yeah, they're winning the race. And this, I don't know how many Sagas. I think they only run once. Or, this is probably going to go get another Saga. And now, like, the Reprieves are dead because they drew the other half of the deck that counters our half which kind of sucks. So they crack map, probably get a saga. So again, this is just kind of showcasing why like this deck, I don't know, this deck is like hit or miss. It's either like crunches them out or just 
does nothing. And right now we we just drew like the not the not good part of the deck. So at least they sacked that. So now their their constructs are smaller. But we would love a um we're just sitting here doing nothing. I mean I guess we'll go get a uh bump and maybe they drew something. Right now we know they have two lands. Besage you, okay. So they can besage you this whenever they want. Or I guess I mean I guess we're we have to hold back. If we got in for three, put them to eleven, trade here, they put us to six. They bounce out of Wara. They can out of Wara one of these if they want. Four, then six. What sucks is like we didn't attack yeah we didn't attack and now we're like not gonna want to block either that was a mistake not attacking we're gonna have to yeah we should have uh, we should definitely should have attacked yeah no this is late too damping sphere does nothing and like now we like definitely can't attack they make a third construct yeah saga is so good against scam decks like this is the card that would be like Rakdos scam too, just because they if we don't like we don't run Blood Moon, we just have zero interaction. Now because we have Damping Sphere, EE does nothing as well. So we're gonna have to do this. Block like this, and then we have to pop and then just trade all around. Shieldred here. Now we need Solitude. I think Shieldred's our best draw here. The Seiju, we knew about that. That tapped. I mean, hopefully they play something into reprieve and then we can draw something good. Is this another dryad? We've already taken care of two dryads and third dryad. Wow. All right, we'll have to reprieve that. Uh, if we draw into something i mean i guess i mean if we take dryad we go to f oh yeah their hand's just so good yeah he's all right Unlucky. All right, match four. We are on the play finally. I think we haven't been on the play yet. I think these hand, ugh, these hands haven't been great. Like I don't know if it's just a mall to aggressively to scam hands, but like these hands are fine. But like, are we not playing a fine deck? Like a fine deck? All right, you guys can let me know if I'm being too uh not greedy enough with these keeps. Because I'm just like, oh, we kill something turn one. We hold up mana tithe reprieve on turn two. Because this is kind of like a tempo -y version. So I don't like hate this hand. It's just like not amazing. No creature. All right. Well, I hit F6 on their on their second. Thing. Thing. It's fine. So we're against Mill. So if anything, now we can just hold up Mana Tithe, whatever. Ideally, we would be holding up Reprieve and Mana Tithe. All right, they had the fetch land too, which fortunately we got rid of the crab. As long as they don't like cycle stuff and be hard cast, I don't know what two drop they would have into Mana Tithe. So probably another, well, no, they wouldn't have, they would have put another crab. I don't know what two drop they would have here. Do we will thought seize them? We have two Shieldreds in hand, which are they just gonna counter this? Ah, uh, cycle, sure. Okay. So we can't manatize that. We go to Grief, Grief, Ephemera, two lands. That's fine. See what they have in their hand. Hopefully, we'll take some like cheap spells and then they cast things into mana tithe a surgical ephemerate do i care about that i don't think so it's kind of funny it's like a one for zero archive trap founding the third path so it's either one of these two do they have the third land probably founding the next turn they go land founding nothing here and they mill us and then they get to cast either fra fracture sanity or surgical without paying its mana cost i think we take founding here because archive does nothing and then if we don't cast anything relevant like we can always bait out the drown Drew shell deck off a turn. Not drawing lands with this deck has been kind of the the downfall. Like the old Rakdos decks played 20 lands, so that's why this is playing 20 lands. But it, we're just like really feeling it this league, and I've been feeling it in like most games to be honest. So I don't know. It could just be me. There's a third land. Shock that in. It's not a shot. It's not a fetch land, so we don't get archive trapped. We'll shock it in so we can hold up these two. There's a scolding turn we knew about. Go to courtyard. Cool. We're drawing lands. We need to draw like one or two more lands before we play stuff out because we know they have a. Uh, a drown in hand. You know, at least these two. They're drawing a lot of cards. I mean, they're drawing a lot of lands here. So they have one, two, three, four. So we can't. Maybe we'll end of turn solitude. I love that we're not drawing a fetch land though. Wait, one, two. Oh, if they end of turn archive trap. Hmm. Okay, wonder why they didn't do that. So we have to hold up. We have to wait. We'll cast Dothy though. That's an easy cast. Because they don't really want to counter that. It's kind of like awkward for them. I really want them to hard cast Archive Trap. Visions of Beyond. That's just a reach. See, I don't know why they're not hard casting. I wonder if they don't know that they can cast that. That's an easy end of turn. All right, push. Sure. So those are the two they drew. I know, like I could crack this. Takanuma. One, two, three, four. They let this go because they're going to, uh, which is totally fine. It's just bait. Oh, another fatal push? Ugh. All right, so they still have Drown and Archive Trap. That's so annoying. I just want them to Archive Trap us. I mean, I guess they can just wait until we draw a fetch, but we're never... What's their Crypt Incursion? One, two, three. One, two, three. We have to let this go also. So they gain nine. So we know their hand is Drown and Archive Trap. Are they finally hard casting Archive Trap? All right, so now that we know their hand's Drown, they're tapped out. So we're going to slam another Shieldred, hold up Reprieve. I mean, they're still going to be able to kill it with Drown, but it's so weird that they're they're going to Thought Seize. Thought Seize, th they're going to Surgical our Thought Seizes. That's totally fine. Such a weird... Uh 
Surgical. Oh, and we drew not dead. That's actually really good. So we get to play Shieldred, hold up not dead. So that way when they try to kill it, finally. Super patient. We're being super, super patient here. Sheldock is like never going to be online. They lose two life. It should main fate because they don't know about the not dead. So they're probably thinking they're going to cast it twice. Nice. Not dead. It comes back. Pretty much a one mana counter spell. And now it's a five, six, which is just like a huge clock. And we draw another solitude, which is another. So that's like an end of turn thing. So get them for five. They know about a reprieve also. So if they just draw um like mill spells it's not really going to do much we also don't have anything for this matchup either we didn't we didn't plan to play against mill and burn they're such like fringe decks fatal push no uh one two three four five yeah i guess that happens we could have reprieved it but i want to just end of turn solitude i mean if anything you know what we should have done solitude at our own we should have just solitude at our own um shieldred that's what we should have done that was a mistake i mean if life totals mattered, that would have been a huge mistake, but it, because they don't, but just like for future reference, that is a, a thing you can do. And we draw a fatal push for an unsuspecting crab. That's seven. They've drawn pretty well in terms of like removal. They've drawn three fatal pushes. All right, we're going to end up turn other solitude. So we're going to put them to one unless they counter this. This hard card. Okay, archive trap. Sure. So they have no cards in hand. They have one turn to draw something, but it's not going to matter if it's so let's sacrifice this to draw a card. And I think the only one, one crypt incursion, we draw not dead. And there's also an argument to not draw, to limit the amount of, uh, to increase our deck size. I guess we should have played this land out. All right. Let me get there. That was a grindy one. So I guess we want Shieldred. There's really nothing. Again, we don't really have anything for this matchup. For crabs, ephemera, grief. I think we just run it back. Honestly. All right. So this hand, turn one crab. So, I mean, again, it's not the greatest hand, but it'll do. Put a mulligan to six. Okay. Shelldeck Isle. Sure. Like, I don't know how, again, how like intense we have to be in this matchup. Kind of like a finesse back and forth. All right. We draw the solitude. So I'll play Marsh Flats, pass. This will just go get a God of Shrine. They shock that in. That's weird. I hit no. And look at us not playing around Archive Trap. I definitely hit no on that. I don't know why that, uh, so we'll just pass. We have like end of turn Bowmasters and if they want to draw something, so we will get Bowmasters going because they're going to cycle and draw a card. Not dead, grief, mana tithe, but three power into play. But obviously they can have, uh, pushes and stuff. I'd love if they played a crab. Oh, there you go. Sweet. But now they're going to play land on top of that. It'll be a fetch land. Okay. They mill another grief, not dead. So they could push this. They could surgical or something they drown that reprieve we will push the crab and i guess just well actually we can uh they're tapped out so let's persist um we can persist bowmaster let's persist grief because we know they have like stuff in their hand nice two lands okay sweet like yeah we tapped out but they're gonna play the island probably and just Hold up. I mean, they could Ottawa our grief back to our hand. Oh, Ottawa our token. Sure. Interesting they did that at sorcery speed. I would love to draw. I don't know what I want to draw. Uh, that's not. So we can hold up Reprieve and Mana Tithe now. And what's cool is that, uh, well, actually, we only have one white source right now. Uh, they do a land. So now we get to do both. We can, like, Reprieve something, make them have to use more mana. And then we can Mana Tithe it when they tap out. Get them for two. Get the beats. I don't mind not playing grief here. Next turn. Okay, another. Next turn we will. Just to get a clock going, I guess. About 10. All right, so let's let's attack first, and then we'll grief. So that way we don't crack this and they archive trap us. Maybe they just push this. So we will crack this now. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we can just... I mean, our life total doesn't matter. We'll just shock this in. We can end of turn solitude. If they don't do anything, we can grief. Surgical bow mast. I love their surgical targets. They've been so, like, random. Like, so they, this card should probably be taken out. This card does, like, nothing against us. We have too many, uh, too many threats. All right, so we're just gonna end of turn solitude this and that should be the game this needs yeah yeah they need 16 more cards out of our graveyard out of our library we'll just play this and then that's the game like they could draw i guess they could kill one of these or they could just like kill dothy i guess and give him one more turn but no all right welcome to the final match and we are on the play we get to do the thing we do we finally get to do the thing finally 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 let's let's hope it was all worth it all right, well grief pitch grief we could pitch persist, but I think that's fine. Come on, be worth it. Let's go. I think we, I guess we did it once during the uh, amulet matchup, but their hand was just terrible. So it was just awful. Tron, Etron. So we have to take this member or they'll just if double temple as well. Probably going to take, we have to take this member. We get to take three things. So we're probably going to take the ring next and then thought nuts here. I mean, their hand was very, very good too for Etron. So another hand is swamp, temple, temple. Like they, 
they had turn two Thought Knots here into turn three Silex. Yeah, their hand was very good. All right, so they played Temple Pass. We will Ephemerate one more time. Walking Ballista. I think Thought Knots here. <laughs> Another Ephemerate. Um, hmm. So let's see. Do they play Ballista out on one is the question. I don't think they do. We can hold up Ephemerate in case they play. What would be awesome is if they played a Ballista on, they're not going to X equals four or whatever, but I don't think so. So we'll we'll hold on hold off on this ephemerate until later. Like if we draw solitude, that would be ideal. We're gonna hold up reprieve. I'm fine with holding up reprieve. So the oh they drew a tower for turn. So we know their hand already. They have to just pass. Bowmasters. That's a good one. So we're gonna get in with grief. Penna says I like your YouTube videos. So we're doing something right, right? So we will pass, I guess. We'll hold up Bowmasters or probably, I don't know if we're going to ephemerate value X or less. Destroy each non-land permanent with a mana value. They do a blast in for turn, so they're going to, for three, if we end of turn, destroy each non-land permanent with value X or less. So next turn they play that, we have to, we have to, uh, Reprieve this. Because next turn they could kill grief. Not really what we want. Another ephemerate. Okay, I guess we're going to... You know what we should have done? Uh, we should have draw stepped it. Yeah, that, so... Yeah, we should have ephemerated it after a draw step because they might have drawn something better. Oh, uh, now they're going to play Ballista X equals 2 and kill grief. Which I guess isn't the worst. But yeah, so we missequenced that. That's for sure. So they play Ballista for 2. I guess they just ping this. If they wait... Okay, they're not going to wait. I was going to say, if they wait, we can... Uh, Hold up ephemery, I guess. But their hand is just swamp and mystery card. We're just not really doing anything. All right, hit no for that. I guess we will end of turn bowmasters. They drew another temple. What is this? Four mana. Please don't be a ring. Chalice on two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's brutal. All right, well, that shuts off these. That's actually really funny. I guess this will be pitch fodder now. Let's skip through the attack. That's that's unfortunate. I hit attack. Oh, there's two damage. All right, so we, their hand is one card. I guess they can pump blast zone up to and karn yeah so with this game we stripped their hand applied zero pressure and this is what happens let's see what they get worm coil engine okay so let's ephemerate this kill karn oh i was gonna say <laughs> we have a white card for I'm, oh gosh i'm just annoyed from the first thing i was gonna say we have a white card from uh for solitude for the worm coil engine but one two three four five six they can cast it yeah maybe we draw another white card oh we can't even cast uh no we just oh that's so annoying we have to kill we have to kill karn too oh man our hand is just twos yeah we're just gonna lose we need like a white card for this for this worm coil i guess i feel so bad and they can just put this on two and kill bowmasters yeah we need like a white card or bust here all right so we drew the white card but they gain six life and sadly we don't have a uh so hit them for four it should be at two less life also if we were i don't know for some reason i skip right through that man if we had mana tithe for that worm coil too a drazi matter shaper i guess we'll just wait they put this to two which is fine because when they pop it we can just push matter shaper i guess and that's one less land for them their top deck are like way better than ours too which stinks like that yeah i mean all they, have to, all they have to do is get a bridge and they win okay they got a bridge all right so against tron we have damping sphere i guess and that's about it like children fatal push comes out for these three we don't have any artifact destruction we don't we just have to like put a clock and kind of disrupt them but it's sad when you're just like losing the e-tron year 2024 chaos on two is brutal I was, I was not expecting that. But if we can get like an early mana tithe to cheese them or something like that. We even griefed them three times and it just didn't matter. All right, let's try again. All right, we don't have the cheese, but we have a solid enough hand that I think this is fine. We can always draw into it. So we'll go turn one Thoughtseize. They kept seven. All right, their hand's pretty awful. Turn one map, I guess. We'll take map. They have whale and dismember, removal. Yeah, their hand's pretty awful. But again, against us, that's like fine to keep because we don't really have a clock. We'll take their turn one play. All right, they play temple guard or another concealed courtyard. All right, we'll just pass. I mean, I feel like we're going to end up just hard casting this grief. End of turn, bowmasters. They have whale and dismember. So it's like, we're just going to use our mana. Power plant down. Like, I don't mind if they use, use it on bow mass and stuff so that means like grief stays alive it's it's so annoying i just want to manatize this actually yeah we're gonna manatize this it's sad but so they drew they drew that for turn like what a what a screenshot right there manatizing mattery shaper so i'll play out the swamp actually we'll play out marsh flats because we're going to get a god the shrine tap so they'll probably i guess play out blast zone would be the smart play no swamp i guess it doesn't matter and this doesn't draw any cards this will get a god the shrine flashing bow masters another land 
All right, let's get in. Maybe make them use... That'd be great if they used uh, Warping Whale. All right, they're gonna use Warping Whale here, I would imagine. Maybe just like end of turn, they'll just take two. So the reason I didn't play out Grief was because... I mean, they're just gonna dismember it anyway, and then I guess maybe we take something else. So we know their hand is like the... They played Blast Zone, so we don't know their hand. If it's Thought Knots here, I'm gonna... Ah. Yeah, so I mean... Now we get punished because they have thought not to. If we would have played this out, they would have nothing to take. So I guess we should have just played it out. They kill it and then we take whatever's in their hand. We just greeted. We just drew too many lands to... We'll take like one or two more draw steps, but it's like... Like, crack tablet, find a tower, get a tower. Another matter shaper. Like, Solitude's a really good draw. Solitude's our best draw or Shieldred. I mean, I'm gonna main phase this now. They, they have this member, but it's fine. We get to draw a card. And if we draw something that I want to cast now, they lose two life. I really wish we had uh, an undying. Okay. Kind of puts us back a little bit. We don't know what's in their hand. They have two unknowns. Okay, waste. And what's cool is that if we Solitude this... No, they've drawn, like, par in both... They've gone three times. Like, they've topped at Karn every single time. I guess we, if they just get bridge, we lose again. Like, there's, there, we can't beat a bridge. That's great. Like, our deck just folds to bridge. We don't have, we literally have nothing. We can't put EE on three. The one ring. But they're not, oh, they are going to attack. Okay. I mean, if they just get the bridge, they all concede, I guess. I mean, I should just concede anyway, because there's no way we're beating the one ring. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to concede. All right, so that was Black White Scam in Modern. Unfortunately, we didn't get to do the cool stuff that we wanted to as often as we wanted to, but it's a very polarizing deck where you either disrupt them, get a little bit of pressure, and and just kind of win or like you saw most of the time we just did absolutely nothing we griefed we stripped their entire hand and then had zero pressure i'm not sure what it needs it does, this deck does 5-0 but it seems like such a slog like i feel like everything kind of has to work out in order for that to happen sadly things did not really line up three of our matches we didn't even really sideboard. Burn, Tron, and Mill were just like run it back. We didn't really run into many decks that we were able to like hardcore sideboard against. Mostly Cascade and Graveyard decks. Overall, when the deck does its thing, it is a fun, it is cool just ephemerating, stripping their hand, killing all the creatures. But more often than not, you're kind of just floundering. We missed our land drops a lot. 20 lands is very little. And then of course, we're missing mo our lands most of the time. And then last match, we just flood out. So it happened. I think the deck is fine. It's not super competitive, but you can definitely have fun with it. So I'd say give it a try, see if you like it. We'll see if we revisit this version again, or if we go back to Stoneforge. But that'll do it for me. Thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Peace.